Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you a quick tutorial on how to mix voice and audio together. Sort of just past the, just reducing the music until the voice sounds good. We're gonna be going past that and we're actually gonna be carving out a space in our music so that the voice sort of fits in there. And that's what the whole tutorial is gonna to be today. Now, this is not you know, a masterclass audio engineering tutorial. This is gonna be more of just a sort of run and gun approach that you can throw on really, really fast to your videos and just sort of give them a little extra boost by carving out the space for your voice. So let's get started on this. Let's take a quick listen. This is gonna be the, the finished product right here. So we're gonna start with it off and then we're gonna turn it on and you'll see the sort of the difference. The, the music isn't gonna drop by that much in the overall sound. However, the voice is gonna feel like it's sort of more present overall. Germantown was founded in the early 19th century by European immigrants, though much of the area's development did not occur until the mid-20th century. The original plan for Germantown divided the area into a downtown and six town villages, Gunners Lake Village, Kingsview Village, Churchill Village, and as you can see, like I said, the very edges of that audio stay almost exactly the same. But where our voice comes in, it drops the music down just a little bit so that our voice can fit in there properly and they aren't sort of competing for the same uh, musical space. And so this is what we're going to be doing today. Let's get started on this. So let's go ahead and drag in our voice and our music. And I'd, I'm just going to delete the effects off of mine. So this is our voice right here. Middlebrook Village, Clopper's Mill Village. And then down here is our music. And so we're gonna just put them right next to each other um, to get ready to edit. Now, a quick tip on sort of setting this up is you wanna set in and out points to where your audio is that you're gonna be manipulating. And this just allows you to turn on the loop feature and to keep listening while you're fine tuning. So all we have to do is click the I button right here. And then when we go to the end of the music, Maybe right there, click the O button, and that's going to create an in and out point. You can also right click and hit mark in, mark out right there. If you wanna clear them, right click and go to clear in and out. Now, whenever we play it, you'll notice if we go up here to the button editor and find the loop and drag it in, or maybe the loop is already right here, we're gonna to toggle that on, the blue means it's on. German it's keep looping at the very end of this. German town. This, like I said, will help us fine tune it a little bit over time. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drag on our parametric, parametric equalizer. So we're gonna go into effects. We're gonna go into audio effects or you can search it. It's parametric equalizer to search it. Uh, you're gonna find it and then drag it onto our sound. We're then going to go into the edit right here. And this is gonna bring up the audio of um, the, uh, the frequency waves of the audio. And so if we play it, you'll actually see the waves was here. founded in the early 19th century by European. So you can see that it has a little bit more of the lower frequencies versus the higher frequencies throughout this piece because it's got those sort of the strong um, bassy uh, chords in it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna carve out our space for our voice through this. The way we do this is we're actually gonna go in to here and we're gonna look for where our human voice is. Now, typically the, the sort of the strength of the human voice is between 500 and 1,000. Um, for sort of a more manly voice and maybe around 600 to 1,100, 600 to 1,200 for a more feminine voice. My voice is actually quite low, so I'm actually usually typically uh, between 400 and 500 whenever I do this. Uh, if your voice is higher, maybe you're a little bit past the 1,000 as well. It's perfectly fine. What we're trying to do is just find where our voice is. So we're gonna take this number three right here you can control it down here and this is gonna be where we can sort of fine tune it. Let's start this at, let's go 425. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna bring it down. We're gonna bring it down really, really strong and sort of uh, use this width to bring in the width some. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play through the audio and we're gonna scan back and forth to the point where our voice sort of pops, to the point where our voice comes alive and it doesn't feel like it's fighting for anything. And that is the point where we're gonna stick and we're going to actually uh, sort of manipulate this in. So let's get this started. Founded in the early 19th century by European immigrants, though much of the area's development did not occur until the mid 20th century. The original plan for Germantown divided the area into a downtown see, and right six around town here, villages. It's, it's sounded good. Gunners Lake Village, Kingsview Village, Churchill Village, Middlebrook Village, Clopper's Mill Village, and Nielsville. Germantown was founded in the early 19th century by European immigrants, though much of the area's development did not occur until the mid 20th century. The original plan for Germantown divided the area into a downtown and sixth. 
actually right around 590 is where I, f I feel my voice is the most powerful. And you, you're gonna have to go through this a couple times and really listen to it, maybe with some good headphones or turn up your speakers a little bit to feel that point. But for me, I feel like 590 in this situation is actually doing pretty good. So that's where I'm gonna stick this right here. Next step I want to do is I actually want to find the presence over here. So your voice has sort of a girthful element. The, the, the core of the voice is between that, you know, 400 to 1,000. But the presence, the wideness of your voice can happen between 2 to 5K. And so that's where we kind of want to uh, do it as well. We're gonna, it's like almost fine tuning. So this is sort of the major effect. And back here is the fine tuning portion. So I'm actually going to stick number four. Um, in between these, maybe around 1,250. And that's just to make sure that we don't, you know, take the entire audio and put it down here. And then we're going to bring 5,000 back over to the, the sort of 2,000 mark right here. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop this down a little bit. This one, we don't want to be as extreme. We're actually going to bring this one up later on. But we want to see if we can find a point where this is going to sound really good here. Let's, again, bring the width up. Town Villages, Gunners Lake Village, Kingsview Village, Churchill Village, Middlebrook Village, Clopper's Mill Village, and Nielsville. Right there, I felt the edges of the audio come up just a little bit, and so that is where I want to uh, sort of bring this effect in, is have a little drop here and then sort of a big drop over here. And so now what we can do is just fine tune this. We don't wanna drop it by minus 32 because then we're just sort of taking all the audio and bringing it down. So we're gonna dra drag this back up to maybe minus 15 decibels. Um, and you'll see that sort of gives more of the, the music within itself over here. Because if we drop it that low, we were actually taking a lot of the frequencies with us. And so let's play it back. And then we can adjust the width of both of these as well. So let's bring this one um, back up to maybe a little lower, maybe like minus 8.1. And then sort of expand out that just a little bit right there. Germantown was founded in the early 19th century by European immigrants, though much of the area's development did not occur until the mid 20th century. And so let's go ahead and turn this on and off as we go by and let's see the, the before and after. Germantown was founded in the early 19th century by European immigrants, though much of the area's development did not occur until the mid 20th century. The original plan for Germantown divided the area into a downtown and six town villages, Gunners Lake Village, Kingsview Village. Okay, so, so far it's sounding pretty good, although the effect is just a little bit subtle. So I'm actually gonna bring this um, the width of this out a little bit. So sort of grab just a little bit more and then maybe drag this down to minus 20 here and then drag this one maybe down to minus 11. And then let's go, let's go threes on both of these, make them just a little bit wider. And then let's listen to it again. Germantown was founded in the early 19th century by European immigrants, though much of the area's development did not occur until the mid 20th century. The original plan for Germantown divided the area into a downtown and six town villages, Gunners Lake Village. And to me, that's sounding really good. So like I said, I, we've taken the voice and we've actually sort of cut out a little space for it. Some of it is definitely lowered. We've lowered the audio of a lot of the instruments in there. However, the very edges of it and the areas where our voice isn't are still almost at where they originally were. And that's the power of this, is that we're not just taking the entire audio and just lowering it and making our voice sort of stand on top of it. We're actually taking it and we're cutting a little space out to put our voice in and so that it all mixes together. So let's just do one more listen. Germantown was founded in the early 19th century by European immigrants, though much of the area's development did not occur until the mid 20th century. The original plan for Germantown divided the area into a downtown and six town villages. And there you go. A really simple effect to throw in there. Like I said, if you're a sound engineer, you could spend days on this fine tuning all the frequencies and really creating a sort of a mix, quote unquote, to make it all work together. But for a lot of productions, we don't need that much work. We just need a little bit to sort of make our voice pop and to make our voice stand out from the music. And that's what this can get you. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you don't see my videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.